Welcome to Ninox Essential Series. In this video, we will learn about licenses in Ninox. Maybe you are wondering which option is the best for you and your team, but there are still so many questions regarding storage, features or user management. By the end of this tutorial, all your question marks will be answered and you will be able to confidently choose the right license. Let us start! A trial, it's not a license, but we have included it here to clarify the most common questions. So, you have just discovered Ninox Cloud and you can start a 30 days free trial to explore Ninox. You are going to be able to invite up to 1000 collaborators and explore all professional license features. Your access to Ninox Cloud with a trial exist only in your trial account. How trial it's not a license, you are going to be able to join other teams only if the owner of that team is providing you a license. Ok, all clear. So your 30 days trial is finished and now you need to choose between starter or professional. But first of all, how licensing is working in Ninox? Well, everyone using Ninox needs to be covered by license. There are two options. Or the owner needs to provide a license for entire team or each member is purchasing a license separately. So, let's see a quick overview of the differences. So, the starter license has a storage of 1 GB per license, has no option for custom user roles, and only admin and editor are available by a default. You will assign a role to a team member when you are inviting him or her to your team. A professional license has storage of 2 GB per license and you can enjoy all Ninox features. So, everything in the starter, plus custom user role, role-based access permission, manual backup, to name few. Please feel free to explore our pricing page where you will have a complete overview of a starter, professional and enterprise license, what we are not going to cover here, but if you have any additional question, you can always write us an email on support at ninox.com. I will just uh, notice that for the enterprise, you have to have at least 10 members in your team. Ok, important to know is that changing from professional to starter or reducing the number of licenses is possible only after the expiration of the current license and while booking a new license. What else is very important to know when you are in charge of your own licensing. So, you have to be aware that there is a usage overview tool. Here, you can see many valuable information about your database, like storage availability, number of use API calls, limit of sent email, dynamic print layout per month, and so on. We can also see how much storage space is occupied by our manual or automated backup. All of this will help us in understanding why are we receiving a warning in our database, such as storage full, add licenses to your plan or upgrade to the next tier. For example, my storage is full and I need to add 10 more gigabytes, so I know I need to purchase 
five more professional licenses. Here is the workflow. I will choose Manage Subscription. We are going to be redirected to the window with the number of our current licenses. And we are going to see the option to add additional licenses. So I need five. Also, I see here upgrading to the next year, like enterprise, but in our case, I will stick with the professional. I will just add five additional licenses. Okay, I will click check out and we are going to be redirected to our payment provider where we will get a calculation for our upgrade. Now, all what is left is to enter our billing details and select payment method. In the case you are a company, you need to select under license to company where you are going to be able to enter VAT ID over here. Perfect. On the very end, we are going to be able to select to pay with a credit card, PayPal or direct debit. In our video, we have learned the most important differences between trial, starter and professional license. We now know how to read usage overview and upgrade our subscription. Congrats! Ninox.